Greetings and welcome to Epic Battle Cry. This is the place where we cut through the crap to bring you the real deal of the gaming industry today. I'm Brent Adams, joined by my blood skulls of bludgeoning, my crow magnons of carnage, Tony Grice and are you, are Daniel you calling us Kaiser. Like, did you just call us crow magnons? Are you saying that we're like we have smaller brains and, and we're, we're less developed than than the current human beings that exist on this planet it's a theme mm. primarily okay. relating mm. to the topic in hand not specifically <laughs> in reference to you guys right try not to take it personally so do we have an actual question <laughs> to, to go to today yes we do and it comes from <laughs> helion who is at helion 757 i'm almost mm. positive helion has had a battle cry in the past yep. yeah so uh, this is this is a return this is a return to the return show for helion, helion as it were go. unless uh, i'm completely wrong is it which, <laughs> which does happen from time it could be helion it could be i don't helion know helion 757 even. listen i have no scientific evidence to prove that you're right or wrong that's true but it, Anyway. It could be none of the above. He, he could have just that could just be a moniker. Like his main, name may be Bob. That's exactly right. <laughs> Helion says name, at Epic Battle Axe, what do the Axe Lords make of Rise of the Tomb Raider being an X Bone exclusive? Money mm. grab or smart move by Crystal Dynamics? That is a great question, <laughs> Helion. I'm so happy that you asked it because I'm just dying to talk about this. But before I do, <laughs> let's turn it over to somebody who knows. Uh, the answer to this question, and that's Daniel Kaiser. Daniel, uh, what do you think, man? I think it's totally freaking lame. Uh, they they done re- it done. They rebooted this franchise in a in, in a great fashion in 2013. Got everybody excited once again about yep. Laura Croft and Tomb Raider with with a great game. You know, I did at the time of its release, obviously. Um, speak out a kind of about my feelings about the way the direction that they took with the level of violence that was in the game and and spoke to how I thought it would be more intriguing if they uh, at least allowed the option for more adventuring or, or more ways in which you can kind of circumvent different situations and how this was kind of a, a reimagining that while great also veered towards uh, a type of, of mentality and, and uh, um, experience that was a little bit out of my level of taste but that being said I also, you know, uh, uh, applauded the game for simply being great. I mean, I really did yep. enjoy the game and and played all the way through it and and really liked what they were doing with it and was very hopeful about this sequel. Still very hopeful about the content of the sequel, but to make it an exclusive, this is not an exclusive. This is not something, this is not a Halo. This is not an Uncharted. This is not something that Microsoft should, I mean, Microsoft, great, more power to Microsoft. This is what they want. But from Crystal Dynamics perspective, how does it behoove them, aside from the giant bag of cash thrown their way by Microsoft, to make this title the re- the, the sequel to the reboot? And we all know that in this day and age, usually once developers find their feet, develop the engine, and come up with something great in the sequel, look at Uncharted 2, Mass Effect 2, uh, this game is on target to be fantastic. Why yep. should this only be for Xbox audiences? And they haven't even clarified if it's just Xbox it's, One or if it's also going to be Xbox 360. Uh, but uh, I, I've seen conflicting. I've seen conflicting information on that today yeah. coming out of Gamescom. I, I think. Yeah, that, I don't uh, think they've even said officially. I think they just, just keep saying it's Xbox, which means well, I, it's going to be on Xbox 360 as well. There was some. Well, there was somebody. Come, there was some. There was some. Uh, some game journalist. It might have even been. It might have even been Keeley. Uh, but uh, I, I, I saw. I saw an article that that had like some some quotes or tweets or something from some big name in game journalism that they had uh, they had spoken to Microsoft reps and tried to pin them down on it and like the only thing that they would keep saying is like the same phrase it's over and over. It's coming to Xbox in 2015. It, it, it's like holiday, fi- like it, it, it'll be exclusive to Xbox One in holiday 2015. To, to be honest, Xbox be- One or Xbox. I believe it said Xbox One, but you yeah. know, by the time this show actually comes this, out, maybe we'll have clarification. Yeah. And, and this, and let's be honest, I I think people are making this a lot more about this. I don't think there's any. I, there, if you think that this is a true Xbox One only Ex- exclusive forever, then I I think you're crazy. Yeah, this I, is I, a timed I agree exclusive. With you. I agree. It with will you. come out on other platforms. I, it, it'll definitely come out. I, I think on PC. I think there's a the huge you know uh, potential that's coming out on PS4 maybe the other platforms it'll just be a little bit later i do still think that it's a pretty 
bad decision for oh, the yeah. franchise yeah. as yeah. a whole. No, whatever now, they got let, paid let me, was not worth the bad press they're well, getting about now, this. I'm going to be honest with you, though. That's the one thing that you, you I may step back a little bit for. I think it's a bad thing for it as a a whole over time. Mm. You know, I don't know that this is a great call, but like right now, like a guaranteed paycheck. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily know if it was the the worst idea for Crystal but Dynamics. Really I mean, I think lack of faith in what they did that they have to. I mean, they're like they have to. Accept. I don't think. I mean, that's not a lack of faith. That's just Microsoft has come to them and probably thrown because we all we just found out the other day how much money Microsoft has lost on the Xbox brand over this last year with all of the retooling and all of the changing their you know the not not having Connect you know bundled in with everything you know and, and having to sell the systems at a lot like all the stuff they've done they they've had a huge loss this year and. Obviously Obviously, things like this are showing that they're doubling down on, okay, hey, we have to establish ourselves but, e- even more quickly. So we've got to get things like this. So, you so think this I don't necessarily think this was a bad move for Microsoft. And I got to be honest, depending on how much how badly Microsoft needed it, they may have paid through the nose for this. They probably did. And, which but, may mean that it could be good for Crystal Dynamics. Well, because let's be honest with you, a year from now or two years from now, when the next one comes out, people are really going to forget about this because they will have already played it on their and, platform and, of choice just a few months later than on the Xbox. So it's, and I want to get Brent's thoughts on this, but I just yeah. want to really quick want to say that, the, the, you know, nobody associates Tomb Raider with one platform anymore. All right, so this reboot happened. Yeah. It's not like... It used they, to be PlayStation, but not, not so much these days. Exactly. And it's not like people are... Go, it, it's not like there are fence sitters that are going to say, well, I guess I'm going to run out and buy an Xbox One because this new Tomb Raider <laughs> yeah. is going to be on it. No, yeah, you buy that, those that platforms happening. thinking, you think of the true platform exclusives like a So, Halo, so why is this a bad like idea for them then? Because they're going to play the game Uncharted. on the platform they have a couple of months later. So so again, why is this a bad call for Crystal Dynamics if they've gotten a buttload of money out of it and they're still going to sell copies of their game to PS4 owners I think that, you know, I three months, six months down the road? I think Daniel's not. taking them at their word. Daniel's saying yeah. if they keep this as yeah, an exclusive to Microsoft platforms, then th- they've shot themselves in the foot. I don't think that he's necessarily I, 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 well, yeah, and let's not forget that the head of Crystal Dynamics also issued a statement saying, but we haven't forgotten about our PlayStation 4 and yeah, PC we're, audience. We're getting you Temple could, of Osiris. You could also play Temple of Osiris and the and the and the And, and that's that was the, the fuck you that was the yeah, fuck that, you like, on the to shit I think like that is really like just don't even say anything. Oh, this you is know? this is so this I is mean, so that, like I'm telling you six months from now this is not even an issue. Like six months from now this is just forgotten because the or six months from when the game releases. I tend, it's a forgotten. I issue. tend to agree with you. I tend yeah. to agree with you, Tony. I, I, I like uh, the first thing I thought when I saw this. Like, okay, well, it'll definitely come to fucking PC. Like, you know, every other supposed Xbox you know One console exclusive. exclusive. Gonna, yeah. It'll be on PC, and the chances of it being a timed exclusive. Like, I, I think, and this is just my speculation, but I think what Microsoft probably really paid for uh, was not in a console exclusive. I think that they paid for an exclusive announcement. I think that yeah. they paid to have Crystal Dynamics say, oh, and it's going to be exclusive holiday 2015 yeah. on uh, on Xbox One. And then it's like, oh, and what do you know? January 2016, it'll be everywhere else. Just like, Well, the you definitive know, edition of it comes out first on PS4, maybe. Yeah. You know, who yeah, knows that they don't make that kind of is. deal. And then who knows that people aren't, you know, better off yeah. in the so, long run because they get a better, you know. Be begging for or, or, or demanding more truth in marketing, meaning like this can be billed as a launch exclusive sure all they got to do is all they got to do is not buy it you know all they got to do is punish crystal dynamics financially and uh but they've already been rewarded financially so yeah yeah, i mean i I don't think that microsoft i don't think microsoft can afford to pay them the amount of money uh from you know for for like every single person who might have bought the game i don't think that they can actually ups i don't think that they can i i kind of i uh, I don't know that i agree with you on that honestly well if you you think think about it if you take out what they they if you think about what they take to make the games that they are not going to have to pay for now to get paid back for it that's 120 million tony i don't know about that man that's that dude they lost like four or five hundred million dollars on the xbox in the first six months of this year I don't know that they would be willing to not spend something like that to get a, which is obviously a pretty big exclusive. I mean, like I didn't think this was that big a news when I, I think first that's heard it. Everybody else speculative. Is, is I, I like I said I I don't have evidence to the contrary, but I'm just saying I think that's very very speculative. Um, but more to the going going back to what I think about this, um, I think kind of two things first and foremost i think that like i said i i, I agree with you tony uh I, I think that you're right i don't think that this is i don't think this is a true console exclusive i, I think at most this is a, a timed exclusive um but 
whatever they got paid, I, I really don't know if it's worth. Uh, I, I don't know if it's if it's worth the hit they're taking right now. And the fact that he comes out after mm. this and and you know makes a statement about the Temple of Osiris coming to PC and which PS4, is going to be a good game, but it's a like, complimentary oh, yeah, game. It's absolutely, not a but it's game. it ain't a replacement. And yeah. but and that's the thing. I mean, like I don't I don't understand that move at all like to me i'm just like you're antagonizing people who are already angry at you exactly like you're like you're literally you're literally just like throwing up your middle finger and saying oh it's not so bad you get to play the you, you know you get to play like the like the 3d isometric version fuck you um it, it really it really really smacks uh, of either complete <laughs> ignorance of of how this is being perceived or a willful uh, move to antagonize people further, and then the other thing is just the the kind of the mystifying irony that Crystal Dynamics was not so long ago, or uh, yeah. Squeenix was not so long ago, complaining about how uh, Tomb Raider didn't sell as well as they wanted it to, and it's right. like, oh well, I've got the perfect prescription for that fever. All you got to do is put it on the platform that's losing the console war. Good job. Yeah, for so, guaranteed it, money though, right? I mean, say again. It, it's it guaranteed, guaranteed money, money, though. But it does seem I mean, like maybe, maybe kind of, that's why they made this deal. Well, I, you I mean, know, I maybe think you're right. I mean, maybe you're right, Tony. I mean, maybe you know, maybe Microsoft gave them three billion dollars for this. I, I don't know, but dude, I, I think you're underestimating. I mean, like the the amount of money they give them when you take into effect that they do don't we have, have any to actual put, figures on this? You're saying that it will that will lose money. I'm saying that potentially it won't. Right. Like so, yeah, we're absolutely you're, going you're at it from assuming. figures that we don't have. I, yeah. Like I said, I, it's it's interesting that we disagree over something this profoundly that we agree on. Um, no, I, that's the thing. I'm not really disagree. I just I do think that it is a bit strong of a stance to say that this is they're absolutely this is the the worst idea they could have had, which seems like a lot of way a lot of people are taking it. Yeah. My only thing was I think the thing I was going to say uh, a second ago was just that I think that the the statement they made the the, mm-hmm. the afterwards about that I don't know if it was completely tone deaf or if it could have been slightly in sort of preparation for okay hey we thought this was gonna be multi-platform is your other title going to be multi-platform and they could have maybe been trying to make sure assure people that no 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 it's just this one this will still be available for you like i i think to to fans that were really excited about this and then pissed because they found out what was happening this came off as a middle finger yeah whereas i kind of think from from their perspective i I think you could read it as just like a confirmation of just this title these others are still coming out and i I don't know i didn't read it nearly as negatively as some people have you know what it boils down to and you're right tg crystal dynamics did everything right from a business perspective and they're a business, so more power to them. But they did everything well, that, wrong. Well, that kind of remains to be seen about, you know, well, I mean, they did, depending well, no, on how the I game mean, does at this point. Up front, they took the money up front, a guaranteed payday yeah. on an exclusive, on, on, which, on a which game is that the likely last time going didn't to be sell as well as it should have. And, and that will which, but, also, I mean, but it, it doesn't everybody kind of agree that that was a spurious bit of logic? Like, the game was successful by any measure that can be devised, yeah. except the one that Square Enix is using, apparently. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, ultimately, you know, they they did the right thing as a business, but but as in terms of fan service and, and and just to people who have supported them, they did pretty much the opposite, you know, for both. Uh, whether it was they, which may not be the best dis- business decision in, in the, the long, long term, run. you know, that, that's exactly. the, that's why like business decision the, may not be getting the your entire thing to say. customer base pissed off at you. Yeah. Right. Probably like, not as an ex- like as an ex- as an Xbox owner and and not a PS4 owner. Like I would say. You know, okay, great. I get to play. Oh no! But at the same time, like I think it's a, I think it's kind of a dick move. You know, like yeah, I I, I agree. I I mean, mean, I'd be pissed if it was. This is the thing. It doesn't really do anything for Xbox owners in a in a way. You know, I mean, they they're getting the game, but it doesn't necessarily make them like they were going to get the game game and you're not so awesome. And I don't think they're going to really sell systems based on this game, especially when I truly believe it's going to come out on other platforms later. So I mean, at you know, in the long run, I don't think this really hurts them. I think today it's shitty. News. I, I, I kind it, of agree with that. I, I kind of feel like by the time this thing actually does come out next year, and, and I and and again, you know, I think you and I are both kind of assuming that this is not going to be the console exclusive that Microsoft it, exactly. is selling. It's a big, it it's a big assumption, but but, I agree, but, but yeah. by the time we get down, yeah, of, of all the things that we we are assuming here. Um, but I think that by the time we get down to the actual release of the game, assuming that we are right in this, um, 
I, I don't think it will matter. I think people will just be excited to play the game, and this will yeah. all kind of be water under the bridge. Yeah. Well, so just, maybe just, in that sense, maybe maybe in that sense, you are right. Maybe they are banking on eighteen months being enough yeah, of a uh, cooling off period. Time, for people time to, heals all wounds, and they'll yeah. end up in the black no matter what on this. But at the end of the day, this may, would have made more sense if the initial reboot had been an exclusive, and it would have felt like, oh, Microsoft is showing faith in Crystal Dynamics and their rebooting of a popular franchise. It does well. Then they release it as a non-exclusive that's coming to multi-platform as opposed to the opposite, like a reboot that did well and everybody's excited for it, and then they make it exclusive. Be- I mean, like, Could, yeah, then it, you it, limit half the audience. That, it that, feels like they really sullied the the initial uh, what should what should have been, you know, like like the the biggest news. I mean, admittedly, yeah. it is the biggest news at Gamescom, but what should have been, you know, one of the biggest announcements at Gamescom that got the entire you know gaming industry on their feet and clapping. Yeah. You know, basically turned into the biggest right. controversy uh, of can the I, moment. Can I ask just one little question, just real quick, and then we'll wrap it up? But, like, do you think that this would have maybe been potentially less damaging had they announced it at the announcement of the title? Yes. Like back I in do. E3. I, I think that I, definitely that's, that's what I think was yes. a, is kind of the worst move in this. Yes. And, and to be honest with you, I don't think it was decided at that point. Yeah. I think that they have since done it. But still, sure. had they announced it as, like, hey, the next in our new, you know, in our new franchise yeah, is absolutely. coming exclusively to Tomb Raider first. That would have come off so it much better. Lessened the blow. I, th- I still yeah. think it would have been impactful, but it would have lessened it because not they, as much they so. announced it and got everyone's hopes up. If yes, yeah. if like last week you were to say to somebody, a, a PS4 owner, hey, are you excited to pick up, you know, the the re- Tomb Raider? The, yeah, the new Tomb Raider next year. They would have said absolutely. You know, so. Now, because it was announced at E3, and we saw a little bit of it, and we're aware of it, you know, so yeah. it's a little bit different to have it be. And now you know. PS4 owners just have more money for other games. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All See right, uh, Hillion, thank you so much for the question. Uh, we hope that you, uh, we hope you enjoyed uh, the discussion. It's uh, it's definitely been uh, a pretty controversial thing. Uh, as we record this, it'll be interesting to see if there's any news that breaks between now and when you actually hear this. See if there's any clarification on any of these points. But we'll have to uh, we'll have to wait and see on that. If you have a question uh, that you'd like us to answer on the show, if you got a news story that you'd like us to discuss, topic that you want us to banty about, hit us up on Twitter at Epic Battle Axe. And of course, you can find us on YouTube at youtube.com slash Epic Battle Axe. Please like the show, subscribe to us. All of that really helps us. We want to hear what you've got to think about all of this. You can comment uh, anywhere that you find us online, of course, at epicbattleaxe.com. If you're a member of the Axe Head Army, we're going to be back tomorrow with an all new edition of epic battle cry fueled by your questions comments and suggestions until then cry havoc and let your voice be heard i do hope that somebody i would really love for somebody to like leak like 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 the, like the number you know like the yeah. money like i would yeah. i because because now that you yeah know, we, right. we've kind is, of been is it, is talking it about it million? i'm dying is to it, know what is it, it is. is is it is it 20 million is it is it five yeah, if million it, if it's is 20 it million, million like like somebody deserves to get hit in the back of the head with a hammer, you know. At Microsoft, um, no, at, at Crystal Fucking Dynamics or, right. or Squeenix. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it's pro- the decision was probably theirs ultimately. Is it a anyway. hundred million? To me, it, to me, it would. It would. The well, number the, would like, also it'd matter how long. Like, it'd have it, to be a hundred plus million to make sense well, in my not, mind. Not if it's a short exclusive though. Like, what if it's you know how Sony was doing there for a while, like one month exclusives on stuff. Like, yeah. You could get DLC one month prior to getting it on right. Xbox on like for Battlefield and stuff. Yeah. Now, to me, for something like that, thirty, I mean, forty. Uh, or like, million a yeah. million or five million or something is is probably worth You're it a cheap but if it's but if it's like if it's like you know three months or six months then then it it's yeah. it's more if it's an exclusive though like if it's truly exclusive no, that's like let's say that yeah. the news comes out that they're like you know look this title will not be released on any other platform other than pc because all those have fucking come on pc but like if they did that that might be closer to like the 50 to 60 or you know whatever 100 or whatever you know i mean that's that's i think possible but it would really depend on a lot of factors not just how much they got paid but how long it is for and if it is totally exclusive i'm just looking forward to playing it i think it looks good yes it's the one guy who owns a fucking xbox one (laughs) 